Hi everybody, I'm Joey Trombley calling tonight's game with Calvin Castine on the camera. We're here on Friday, February 3rd in beautiful Shazy, New York between the E-Town Lewis Lions and the Shazy Eagle Girls. E-Town comes into the game with an 8-1 record. Their only loss was the opening game of the season to Westport. And Shazy comes in with a 5-4 record. The last time these two teams played was January 3rd. And E-Town came up, up with the victory with a 42-36 victory. We're about 30 seconds into the game. There is no score. And Pepper off the glass misses the ball. Rebound by Bullock, who gives it over to Gibson. Gibson's looking around to the right side, back to Bullock. Gibson back to Bullock. Bullock looking underneath. She goes all the way across. She got it over to, to Borden, stolen by Shazy. And Olds coming up the court. She's driving the court, looking to go all the way. Going underneath. Good drive by, by Casey Olds. But she missed the layup and rebound E-Town. Mallory Morris, she's a great athlete for E-Town. She was a wonderful soccer player. She's just a gifted athlete for E-Town, and she's a quality basketball player, too. Kelsey Gibson drains a long three-point shot, and it's 3-0 E-Town. Caitlin Halley coming down the floor. She has a ball to Olds. Olds is fouled. Foul is on Brittany Borden of E-Town. Shazy's ball underneath. Pepper to take the ball out for Shazy. She goes deep to Goodrow. Goodrow driving the lane. Goodrow goes down, no foul called, makes the basket, and it's three to two. We're early on. The Shazy boys and fans are getting into the game, yelling encouragement to the Shazy girls. Good hustle from Halley, knocked away. But Mallory Morris hustles back to get the ball. E-Town has the ball on the offensive possession. Trying to go inside, and E-Town throws the ball away. Six minutes and 17 seconds left in the first. It's a 3-2 E-Town lead. There's a full court pressure put on by E-Town. They're looking for a zone press. Pepper sees him. Ball goes into Oles, misses the shot, gets her own rebound. Tries to be unselfish, tries to hit Latour between her legs. E-Town throws the ball down. And before the shot, Bullock is fouled by... She's fouled by 1-0, Brittany Goodrow. Ball underneath E-Town. Beaten with the ball. She goes underneath to number four, which was Gibson. Rebound by Latour. She throws the ball away trying to get to Halley. E-Town has the ball. And it was Martin back to Gibson. Gibson over to Bordeaux. Morris has it back to Gibson. Gibson to Morris. Morris tries to go in. Stolen by Olds. Halley has the ball. Hits Pepper. Pepper hits. Marianne Latour who drives the basket. Nice shot, misses it. Good job going for the ball. Oh, no foul called. A lot of bodies on the ground, but no call foul. The refs are letting them play the game. Beaten with the ball, she gets it back to Gibson. Shazy's in the 2-3 zone. E-Town looking to spread the floor, moving the ball around. Bordeaux takes the shot off the backboard. Latour gets the rebound out to Goodrow, and Goodrow slowing it up. Loses the ball, Latour has it, back to Goodrow. Goodrow will take the shot, hits the front of the rim, and a strong rebound by Maggie Beaton. She'll bring the ball up, she's looking for her guard, and she finds her in Gibson. Gibson over to Mallory Morris, back to Gibson, over to Borden. Good defense from Shay Z. But the ball went right into the hands of Maggie Beaton, who was there for an easy layup. And she gives E-Town a 5-2 lead. Goodrow trying to break the pa press. Passes it over to Pepper. Pepper takes it up the court. Good pick by Halley. Pepper loses her dribble, but she gets it over to Casey Olds. Ball knocked away by Gibson, but it is Shazy ball. And E-Town subs early. They send, board they send in Heather Borden and they take out Brittany Borden. So I would say they're probably twins. Borden in for Borden. Hallie calls the play on the inbounds. She sees Pepper at the top of the key. 
Pepper back to Goodrow. Goodrow top of the key. She'll take it to the hoop. She goes in hard. Good hard driver, Brittany Goodrow. 3-4, which green four. That would have been Kelsey Gibson gets called for the foul. Goodrow to the line for two. Brittany Goodrow makes the first of the two shots. It's a 6-3 E-Town lead. Goodrow can cut it to two. Goodrow misses it. Rebound by Bullock. Bullock gets it out to Morris. Morris wisely slows things up. Let's E-Town set into their offensive format here. It goes back to Gibson. Gibson back to Borden. Borden to Gibson. Cross side over to Mallory Morris. Morris back to Gibson. Shazie's in their 2-3 zone. A wide open. Borden misses the shot, but rebound by Mallory Morris. She hits Gibson. Gibson will take the three. She misses. Rebound. Knocked away from Christy Bullock. Knocked it away. And it goes to Shazie. And E-Town is subbing in again. Beaton is out of the game. And in is Gina Martin. E-Town is set into his own press. Shazy taking the ball out. Pepper hits Halley. Halley breaks the press pretty easily. She'll set back to Pepper. Pepper looking around. She has her dribble guarded by Bullock. Bullock back to, or Pepper to, to Halley. Halley has the ball top of the key. Playing good defense. E-Town's playing good defense. Ball knocked away by Gibson, but she stepped on the line. It will go back to Shazie. Hallie into Goodrow. Goodrow has a nice shot. She drains it. And they've cut the lead to one. Ball got away there, but a great save by Gibson. Mallory Morris has the ball. The fans are getting into it in Shazie. As the, coup, or the Eagles of Shazie are only down by one point. Mallory Morris over to Gibson. E-Town's moving the ball very well around this zone. That was a nice shot by Bullock. Rebound is tied up. Jump ball called by Leary. And it is Shazie's possession. Wilson is in the game right now. She checked in. Pepper has the ball. They're trying to break this zone press, and they do. Pepper down the right side. She's looking over, tried to hit a cutting Hallie, but the ball was knocked back to her. Over to Goodrow. Goodrow over to Pepper. Pepper, oh, rejected by Morris. The ball goes back to Pepper. Inside to Oles. Nice play, nice shot. The ball just didn't drop. And the ball will be E-Town's ball, but good ball movement from Shay Z. Just the ball didn't drop right there. Gibson gets it into Morris. Morris back to Gibson. Shay Z is into a 1-2 two, two zone. And E-Town breaks it. The ball was fed to Martin, and she was hacked underneath. No, no foul called. They just set out of bounds. No foul called, a little surprised on that one. There was definitely contact. E-Town has the ball. The feed inside. Kicked out by Halley, it'll be green ball. But nice play from Bullock, trying to uh, get Martin underneath. Uh, but it was knocked away by Halley. Gibson looking around. Bullock coming around, she gets the ball. Knocked it off her leg. And it is Shazy ball. There's two minutes and 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. The score is actually 5-5. The score clock had it wrong earlier. It wasn't six. It is now 5-5. Five five. Halley has the ball. Bowl sets the pick. Pepper with the ball at the top of the key. Inside to Goodrow. Goodrow has a beautiful shot. She bangs it off the glass. Shazy's got the lead. E-Town coach does not like what he sees. Shazy fans are getting into the game with Shazy with a two-point lead. Bullock 
Cross the lane, Gibson. It's almost like they're looking for that three-pointer. They're giving Morris a three-pointer. Pepper rebounds the ball. Goodrow, they're running the floor. But Goodrow wisely holds the ball up, letting Shazy set into their play. Pepper making the move over to Goodrow. She's driving the paint. Goodrow with the hot hand misses that one. Rebound, Gibson. Good end end action here in the first quarter in Shay Z between E Town and Shay Z. Inside to Bullock. Bullock back to Morris. Morris over to Gibson. Gibson will take the three. Off the backboard. Rebound Pepper. Pepper over to Olds. Olds over to Halley. Shay Z. Halley will go all the way, it looks like. She holds up. Inside. To Wilson. And Wilson has a good set of hands. Bangs it off the glass. E-Town coach does not like what he sees. He calls a timeout. Shazy is ahead 9-5. to five. There's a minute 14 left in the first quarter. E-Town came in with an 8-1 and one record. Shazy 5-4. E-Town is on an eight-game winning streak, and we're in a timeout. We're back. Gibson gets it into Morris. Morris back to Gibson. Shazy is into a 2-1-2 zone. Gibson over, almost throwing it away, and they did. Heather Borden couldn't hang on to it. Man-to-man -man pressure from E-Town. Pepper gets the ball, she breaks the press very easily. Over to Halley. Halley looking around, bounces it over to Pepper, back to Goodrow. E-Town is into a man-to-man -man defense. Shazy is calmly working the play around. Latour looking to drive to the basket, and she does. Partially blocked. Whitney Wilson ties it up with Caitlin Gibson, and it is E-Town ball. There's 43.1 seconds left. Shazy is ahead, 9-5. to five. Gibson will bring the ball up. She passes it over to Morris. Morris on the left-hand side. She had been playing the right-hand side, but they switched it around. Gibson at the top of the key. Gibson gives it over to Heather Borden. She misses the shot. Good save from E-Town. Which would have been Morris. She misses the shot going up. E Shazy running the floor. Goodrow inside. Yes, a nice pass inside. Good hustle. The ball was off E-Town's hands. 9.8 seconds left in the first quarter. Shazy will retain the ball with Halley taking it in for Shazy. Shazy's moving around inside to Caitlin Halley. Had an open look for an easy two. Shazy's lead has increased to six. On the buzzer, Heather Borden lets a three-pointer go. Doesn't drop. And Shazy had a very strong first quarter, and they have a six-point lead, 11-5. And we're back to start the second quarter. It is Shazy's possession. Pepper gives it into Goodrow. E-Town's into a 1-3-1 zone. Shazy moving the ball around the perimeter. Wilson almost throws it away, but a good save by Goodrow. Goodrow has the shot. She hits the front of the rim. Rebound Pepper. Ball back into Shazy possession. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Pepper off the backboard. Shazy is hot in this game early. They have an eight point lead. You have Doyle, Aaron Doyle with the ball now. It looks like the coach is trying a whole different lineup. Allison Dickerson is number 12. He has kept Bullock in and Bullock is called for travel. E-Town gets away from their zone pressure, uh, man, or zone pressure. And um, Shazy's allowed to bring the ball up with no pressure at all. Goodrow gets it over to Pepper. Pepper to Halley, back to Pepper. Over to Goodrow. Goodrow to Pepper. Shazy's moving the ball well, but they throw that one away, and it's E Town's ball. Aaron Doyle coming up. Shazy's playing a very strong 2 3 zone right now. Chelsea Smith is in the game for E Town. She passes it over to Dickerson. Dickerson over to Doyle. Doyle thought about it, but they move it to Bullock. Bullock is trying. Fouled by Latour, she doesn't think so. It's almost, it's almost like Bullock thinks she needs to carry this team right now. But she was uh, fortunate, was called for a foul underneath, and it will be E-Town ball. Yeah. 
Bullock gets the ball at the top of the key. She's driving, and she makes the basket. Her coach has been putting a lot of pressure on her to start picking her game up as she'll sit the bench, and she answers the call with a bucket there. Goodrow passes it to Pepper, back to Goodrow. They're playing a 1-3-1 zone. They're moving the ball around. Wilson in and out. A nice look, nice shot, just in a drop. Rebound, E-Town. Aaron Doyle bringing the ball up for E-Town right now. She looks to the right side and she sees Dickerson. Dickerson goes to Bullock. Bullock is looking to take the game into her hands and she's going into the paint every chance she gets. And the foul was called on, I think, Pepper. Bullock will go to the line for two. E-Town is trailing 13 to seven. She has a chance to cut this lead down to four for Shazy. She misses the front end of her two shot foul. This will lead, be a live ball, so a rebound can take place if she misses the shot. She hits the second one. 13-8 Shazy. And Goodrow will walk the ball up the court with six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Inside to Latour, over to Pepper, back to Goodrow. Goodrow hits the front of the rim, rebound Dickerson, over to Doyle. Doyle bringing the ball up. She's looking left side. She throws right over to Dickerson. Dickerson into Bullock. Bullock is a workhorse. She goes up. Shazy's got to be careful. They only have seven players, and if they get into foul trouble, they will be in trouble. 32, that would be Latour. She's called for the foul, and Chelsea Smith is going to the line for two. She misses the front end, hitting the front of the rim. She misses the second, good rebound by Wilson. Out to Hallie, Hallie to Pepper. They tried to hit Goodrow, but a very heads up play by Aaron Doyle. Wisely holds the ball back up, lets the offense set up. And good hustle from Mary Ann Latour, knocking away from Jen Evans. E-Town ball on the side. Evans gets it in to, Ev or Evans was given the ball by Doyle, it's back to Doyle. Shazy's into their zone defense. Bullock has the ball, she's gonna look to drive. Rebound, E-Town. Oh, nice move. Misses the shot. Rebound, Wilson. Hallie looking to break through. She's going to go coast to coast. She went in hard. Missed the layup, but a great play by Caitlin Hallie. The ball just didn't drop. Rebound goes to E-Town. Aaron Doyle with the ball. She is the playmaker so far in the second quarter for E-Town. Dickerson tries to get it to Bullock. Pepper gets it over to Latour. Knocked away from E-Town, it will be Shay's E-Ball. E-Town's game plan, it looks like, is they're trying to get it to Bullock underneath. She seems to be the offensive threat for E-Town. Olds is in, Wilson is out. Four minutes and 59 seconds left in the second quarter. 13 to eight, Shay's e lead with Goodrow with the ball. Over to Halley, she's got a free look. Nice shot, rebound Bullock. Bullock skied for that rebound, pulls it down. E-Town has the ball and she gives it up to Doyle. Doyle crosses the line, looking around, goes left. Almost throws it away, but a great save by Chelsea Smith. 30-second timeout called by the E-Town coach. I still don't think he likes what he sees. He's trying to calm his girls down. Four minutes and 39 seconds, it's 13-8. And while we have this little break right now, Remember to send your donations into Hometown Cable if you like what you see here. Uh, one thing I can say this past weekend, I had Hometown Cable on and I saw the uh, 1994 show of the bootlegging days with my dad, which was pretty special since my dad passed away a year and a half ago. And those are memories you cannot replace. And um, these guys are only supported by viewers like yourself. So if you like what you see, please send in a donation to Hometown Cable. Send what you can afford, whether it's 12 bucks, 25 bucks, it doesn't matter. Every little bit helps. But they don't just give quality show on, they give you hometown memories. And we thank the uh, Calvin and Sam and all they do for the uh, North Country with Hometown Cable. 
And uh, we're back to the action right now with Bullock uh, passing the ball over to Aaron Doyle. Doyle gives it over to Evans. Evans inside to Bullock. Back out to Doyle. She takes the three. It was off the backboard. Pepper aggressively grabs it. Got it over to Halley, but good defense from uh, E-Town to tie the ball up for a jump ball. And the ball will go back to E-Town. Possession arrow was E-Town. Shazy setting up into their zone defense. Bullock has the ball. She's driving. Oh, nice dish. And Chelsea Smith had an easy look, and she makes the most of her chance and buries the bucket. They've cut the lead to three. Goodrow, beautiful drive along the baseline, makes the bucket, and brings the Shazy lead back to five. Evans bringing the ball up, passes it back to Doyle. Evans goes underneath, Doyle at the top of the key. Shazy in their 2-3 zone. Evans passes it over to Smith. Smith back to Dickerson, back to Doyle. Doyle back to Dickerson. Dickerson trying to go to Bullock, but stolen back from Bullock. She's playing very hard, it was off her feet. But Leary says three seconds, it will be Shazy ball. E-Town coach is telling him to shoot the ball in the paint. Don't be standing there, shoot the ball. Three and a half minutes to go in the second quarter, a five point Shazy lead. Goodrow over to Pepper, back to Goodrow. Goodrow had the look but not taking it. Back to Pepper, Goodrow. Pepper sees Oles, Oles looking to drive. Oh, Casey Oles, nice play. Looked, knew she was gonna get fouled. Threw the ball up, got fouled. Will go to the line. And the foul was called on Aaron Doyle of E-Town. Two shots for Casey Olds. She misses the front end of the two-shot foul. And nothing but now on the second shot, and she increases the Shazy lead to six. Doyle taking the ball up as she has been all the second period since she's came in the game. In the first quarter, it was Gibson was the playmaker, and now it's Doyle in the second quarter for E-Town. Bullock trying to do, trying to do a lot down there, but Mary Ann Latour, she'll never back down from a good, uh, And the whistle is blown. Oh, okay, we got subs going on here. Mary Ellen Turr is very aggressive. She won't back down from anybody. She held the ball up from Pollock, who's trying to do a lot right now. I think she thinks she needs to carry this team. Shazy has the ball with Pepper. Pepper over to Halley. Halley bounce pass back from Olds. Halley has the ball. She shoots off the rim. Rebound Mallory Morris. Morris slows things up. Gibson is back into the game. She bounces it over to Borden, Brittany Borden. Borden takes the shot, and nothing but net for Brittany Borden. And she cuts the lead, 2-4. Pepper bringing the ball up. Over to Halley, Halley has the look, but she, over to Olds. Olds looks for a shot, but passes it back to Halley. Inside to Pepper, over to Goodrow. Goodrow has a touch. Goodrow hits it, great ball movement from Shay-Z. Six point Shay-Z lead. And the Shay-Z fans are calling for defense, trying to put a stop here. Casey Olds knocks the ball away. Marianne LaPutor out to Halley. Oh, she tried to hit Goodrow, but good defense by Mallory Morris. Morris coming up the court. Bounces it to Gibson. Back to Morris. Morris over to Borden. Borden inside, but a great defensive play by Casey Olds to knock it over. Whitney Wilson in. Marianne Latour out. A minute 48 to go here in the second quarter. Shazy is hanging on to a six point lead, 18 to 12. Maggie Beaton will take the ball out for E-Town. There's movement from the E-Town players. Ball goes to Morris. Morris back to Beaton. Beaton drives. Nice shot. Whitney Wilson, great rebound. Nice outlet pat to Halley. Halley's going all the way. She's fouled going up by Mallory Morris. Caitlin Halley will go to the line for two to increase the Shazy lead, which is currently at six, trying to increase the lead to eight.
She misses the front end of the two shot foul. And she bangs the second one off the backboard to give Shazy a seven point lead. Mallory Morris coming up the court, leading the charge of E-Town. Maggie Beaton, or Brittany Borden I should say. Borden Morris, Morris to Borden. Borden back to Morris. Borden goes to the baseline. It comes back out to Morris. Morris over to Gibson on the right side. They're moving the ball well. There's a uh, shot clock's going down. Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot by Brittany Borden. They worked the shot clock down and she made a beautiful shot. We have about a minute left here in the second quarter. Shazy has a five point lead. Pepper over to Casey Olds. Oh, nice defense by Brittany Borden. She passes it back to Mallory Morris. E-Town spreads the floor. Bullock out beyond the arc. Beautiful ball movement from E-Town. Shazy's playing their 2-3 zone, denying them the inside look. So E-Town is moving the ball around the perimeter. Knocked away, but E-Town ball. There's 12 seconds left on the shot clock, and we have 34 seconds left here in the second quarter. Ball goes in. Tr tried to go to Bullock, and it got away, and it will be Shazy ball. You have 30 seconds on the shot clock, 33 seconds on the game clock. Will Shazy look for the last shot? That will remain to be seen. Coach Barkholm is up, looking things over. Ball stolen away from E-Town. Oh, beautiful pass to Mallory Morris. Beautiful breakaway. Easy layup, and E-Town is within three. 15 seconds to go. Goodjo tries to go in. Stolen by E-Town. Gibson over to Maggie Beaton. And one, that won't count. Shazy has a one point lead at the half, 19 to 18. Gave up four quick points before the half on breakaways and steals from E-Town, which were nice layups from the E-Town ladies. We will go into the half, like I said, Shazy's got a one point lead. And to remind you that E-Town came in with an eight game winning streak, eight and one record. Shazy's at five and four. And again on January 3rd, the last time they met, it was a tight game with E-Town winning 42 to 36. We'll be back after this break. And we're back here to start the second half with E-Town taking the ball in. In the first half, you had Goodrow with 11 points, Halley with one, Pepper with two, Wilson with two, Latour with two, and Oles with one. For E-Town, it was Gibson three, Smith four, Maggie Beaton two, Brittany Borden four, Mallory Morris two, and Christy Bullock three. Ball is E-Town ball. They'll get it underneath with Maggie Beaton taking the ball in. Throwing the ball in for E-Town. It goes over to Gibson. Gibson all the way over to Bullock. Bullock looking, looking to make the move. Good defense. Yes, tied up by Halley. And it's white ball. It was called a jump ball by Leary. And it will go to Shay Z. Brittany Goodrow bringing the ball up. She had the hot hand early in the first half for Shay Z with 11 points. Good ball movement. And Oles comes out on fire and she makes the first bucket to start the second half. It's a three point Shay Z lead. Gibson bringing the ball up. E Town will spread the floor. It goes over to Mallory Morris. Morris over to Gibson. She passes it over to Borden. Borden goes over to Bullock. Bullock driving baseline. Beautiful play by Bullock, fouled by Marianne Latour. And that will either be the second or third foul on Marianne Latour. Bullock is going to the line for two. Misses the front end of a two shot foul. And Bullock makes the second one. Shazy up by two. Brittany Goodrow with the ball guarded by Gibson. Back to Pepper, Stephanie Pepper with the ball right now. She's driving to the right side, looks over to Goodrow. 
Goodrow driving to the lane, passes it over to Latour. Latour hits the front of the rim. Strong rebound from Beaton. Stolen away from Latour over to Olds. Olds misses the shot. Great hustle from Shay Just didn't get the ball to drop, but a great effort from the Eagles of Shay Z. Ball goes to E-Town with Gibson bringing the ball up the court. Mallory Morris going on the left-hand side. Gibson looks left, throw it right over to Beaton or Borden. Borden down low to Bullock. There they surround Bullock back up to Gibson. Gibson fakes left, throws right to Borden. Borden with the shot. Off the backboard, off Latour's hands. The refs do see it that way. It does go to E-Town. Beaton will have the ball. Beaton will take in the ball for E-Town. There's movement. And she gets it over to Brittany Borden. Borden back to Beaton. Beaton drives to the lane. Over to Mallory Morris. Morris goes down to Bullock. Bullock going baseline. Trying to draw the foul. No foul called. Goodjo grabs the ball. Hit. Outlets it over to Oles. Oles comes across the line. Pepper on the left hand side. Back to Goodrill at the point. Goodrill has the ball. Resains possessions. Drive by Oles. Goes in strong. Oh, she thought Hallie was going to the basket, but Hallie did not make the break, and it went over to Mallory Morris, who steals the ball and gets it back to Gibson. Gibson coming down. Shazy set up in their 2 3 zone. Mallory Morris has the ball, goes cross court over to Borden. Borden over to Morris. Morris guarded by Pepper. Stolen by Hallie. Hallie regains control. Coming down the court. Ball was slapped away by, by Beaton, but it will remain Shazy ball. Five minutes and 36 seconds to go in the third quarter. Shazy has a two point lead. Ball goes into Olds. Olds makes an, a nice shot up, misses it. Rebound, E Town. Nice pass to Pepper to Olds, but the ball does not drop. E Town regains possession on the rebound. It's over to Morris on the right hand side. She'll take the shot off the backboard. Latour grabs the rebound. Good defense from E Town. Bullock underneath. She goes in hard. Foul on Latour. That's going to be three or four. Coach Barkham did not like the call before that, how it was stolen away. There was some contact, but no foul called. And Bullock will go to the line for two. She misses the front end of the two-shot foul. Heather Borden comes in. Brittany Borden goes out. Bullock misses it. Strong rebound by Hallie. Hallie coming to the court. Picked by, by Goodrow. Oh, end to end. Caitlin Hallie grabbed the rebound. Went end to end. Made a nice drive and layup and gives Shazy a four-point lead. With four minutes and 57 seconds to go in the third quarter, Shazy has increased their one-point lead to four here in the third quarter. Shot misses. Oh, good rebound by Morris. Ball goes off Bullock's hands. E-Town just does not seem to be in sync tonight. Pepper, Stephanie Pepper taking the ball out over to Caitlin Halley. Halley brings the ball up. E-Town sets into their defense. Shazy sets up for their offense. Halley on the right side. Loses her dribble over to Pepper inside. Pepper misses a shot. Rebound E-Town. And they throw the ball away. Another turnover for E-Town. Colt Ratliff cannot understand what's going on with his team tonight. They just seem to be like a step behind. But there is still a lot of game left. Shazy has a four-point lead. Pepper inside to Halley. Knocked away, but it goes into Marianne Latour, who has the soft hands and puts it in and gives Shazy a six-point lead. E-Town came into this game with an eight-game winning streak, and their only loss was to Westport the first game of the season. But they're definitely in a match tonight. Gibson lets a three-pointer go. Rebound to Halley. Halley driving the court. Dishes it over to Goodrow. Ball gets away. Here comes E-Town. They're running the court. Good end-to-end -end action. And Maggie Beaton makes an easy layup on a beautiful feed. And they cut the Shazy lead down to four. Coach Barcombe wants to talk it over. She calls a timeout, and she wants a full timeout. We have three minutes and 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Shazy was ahead by one at the half, and currently they're up by four, 25 to 21. We'll be back in just a moment. 
We're back from the Shazy timeout with Pepper getting the ball into Hallie. Hallie fakes left, she goes right. She's in no man's land. Tries to get the ball over to um, Latour, but it was off her legs, out of bounds. And E-Town will have the ball with Maggie Beaton taking the ball in, passing it over to Mallory Morris. Mallory Morris will bring the ball up. Shazie's in their 2-3 zone. On the left-hand side to Gibson, back to Mallory Morris. Morris looks inside to Bullock, but decides to go over to Heather Borden. Back to Mallory Morris. Borden on the right side, back to Morris. Morris at the top of the key goes left side to Gibson. Gibson cross course to Borden. Borden has a nice shot, but she misses that one. Good rebound by Gibson. Good hustle from the guard. Oh, going for the three-pointer and rejected by Brittany Goodrow. It will be E-Town's ball underneath. Coach Ratliff is letting know there's only one second left on the shot clock. Good coaching by Ratliff, Coach Ratliff. Stolen by Marianne Latour. Latour going down, good defense by Mallory Morris. Gives it up to Goodrow. Goodrow is the playmaker for Shazy. She moves it to Pepper, back to Goodrow. Goodrow looking underneath, going right side, but she takes a shot herself, and she nails the two. Goodrow is getting hot like she was in the first half. In the first half, she had 11 points, and she drains that one to give Shazy a six-point lead. We're on the left-hand side with Borden over to Mallory Morris. Morris goes back to Borden. Shazy doing their 2-3 zone. Back to the right side, Gibson. E-Town's kind of mixing it up a little bit to give him a different look. The ball was tied up, and it was Shazy possession. Coach Ratliff is not happy with what he's seeing right now, and he's yelling instructions to his team right now who are trailing by six. They're going into a full court press. Pepper to Goodrow, back to Pepper. Pepper to Hallie. Hallie looking to break the press, and she does. Good ball handling from Hallie. Hallie looking underneath. She sees Goodrow at the top of the key. Goodrow going to the right side. Looks for a shot. Oh, nice bounce pass to Hallie, but it got away. A good steal by Beaton. All the way down, Pepper plays good defense and knocks it away. Hustle by Beaton and saves the ball, gives it over to Mallory Morris, over to, to Heather Borden. Morris has a free look, and she misses it. Wilson grabs the rebound, outlets it over to Halley. Halley running the court, gives it to Goodrow, back to Halley. Inside, tried to go to Oles, but it goes into Wilson's hands. Wilson needs to get out of there, should be called for three. She gets out just in time. Goodrow, with the hot hand, drains another one. Brittany Goodrow has given Shazy an eight point lead. I think it's the biggest lead of the night so far. There's a minute 40 left in the third. Gibson, up strong, Bullock goes up strong, goes up strong, off the rim, but Pepper grabs a rebound. It's tied up, and it will be E-Town ball. And Maggie Beaton comes out, and in is Caitlin Gibson, and we have Aaron Doyle in for Heather Borden. Mallory Morris taking the ball out for E-Town. And they find Gibson. Gibson will take the three. Gibson has a nice shot from the outside, and she cuts a three or an eight-point lead down to five with that three-pointer. Pepper back to Halley. Shazy moving the ball around very well. Halley has a shot. Rebound E-Town. Back to Bullock. Bullock over to Morris. Morris will slow things up and bring it up the court with a minute eight to go in the third quarter. Shazy with five-point lead. They're up by one at the half, and they have a five-point lead now. That was a three-point attempt by uh, Caitlin Gibson, and Brittany Goodrow has the ball. A nice pick set by Olds. Over to Wilson, back to Goodrow. Goodrow misses the shot, rebounds Mallory Morris. There's 40 seconds left in the third quarter. E-Town has the ball to go right side over to Bullock. Bullock looking inside, back to the point to Mallory Morris. Coach Ratliff walking the sidelines, yelling encouragement to his team. Shot missed. Rebound Whitney Wilson, but she throws the ball away, trying to hit Brittany Goodrow for the outlet. Good try by Whitney Wilson, but the ball just got away from her. 24.1 seconds left, 30 on the shot clock, so E-Town could work down to the last shot. They're down by five. Mallory Morris on the left-hand side over to Doyle. Doyle to Morris. Morris to Gibson. Gibson back to Morris. Morris to Gibson. Gibson will take the three. Hits the rim. Oles passes it back or slaps it back into E-Town hands. Pepper has the ball. 
There's three seconds. Over to Pepper. Whitney Wilson tried to hit Brittany Goodrow, uh, but the clock goes for the third quarter. We have a five-point Shazy lead. They increased that one-point lead to five at the end of three. It's 29-24, and we have eight minutes left in this hotly contested game between E-Town and Shazy. We're back to start the fourth quarter. E-Town's eight-game winning streak is in jeopardy right now with one quarter to go. They're down by five. Shazy will take the ball out with Stephanie Pepper looking to bounce the ball into Caitlin Halley. Caitlin Halley, nice movement with the ball over to Goodrow. Goodrow looking to drive. She does. Beautiful play by Brittany Goodrow. Definitely the hot hand tonight for Shazy, and she increases that lead to seven. Mallory Morris has the ball as it's getting back to her from Doyle. Shazy fans are getting into it, yelling for defense. They're excited with the seven-point lead. Gibson tried to quiet him down with a three-pointer, but she misses, and it's rebound by Shazy. Inside to oh, it's beautiful pass by Goodrow. Oh, stolen away from Aaron Doyle. She's a good ball player for them. Inside to uh, Caitlin Gibson, and she had a nice shot off the backboard, and she cuts the lead to five. Ball into Pepper. Pepper almost traveled, but saves it. Over to Caitlin Halley. Halley has good ball handling skills. She goes into the paint, but Bullock wrestles it away from her, and E-Town has the ball, and they give it up to Morris, and Morris is bringing the play up. She's slowing the troops down. They're down by five. Ball goes over to Gibson on the right-hand side. It's Morris on top of the key. Back to the right-hand side to Gibson. Shazy in that 2-3 zone inside to Bullock. And Brittany Goodrow ties her up. And it's E-Town's ball. Coach Atlas trying to inspire his team who's trailing by five with an eight-game winning streak in jeopardy right now. E-Town, Morris. Misses, rebound, Casey Oles. Very nice boxing out by Casey Oles. Mallory Morris knocks it away, but it will be E-Town ball. Pepper comes over to take it in, to throw it in. Stephanie Pepper to throw the ball in. Picks are being set, and it goes to Goodrow over to Halley. Halley will break the press pretty easily, and Gibson comes from the behind to knock it away, but it will be Shazy ball underneath. Six minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter, and it's a five-point Shazy lead. Goodrill has the ball top of the key to Pepper. Back to Goodrill. Goodrill fakes the shot, drives baseline into Wilson. Wilson has the ball back to, to Goodrill. Goodrill over to Pepper. Pepper to Halley. Halley has the open look, and she hits. Great ball movement from Shazy, and Halley takes advantage of it with an open look and increases the lead back to seven. Gibson is now the playmaker out to the left side to Doyle, back to Gibson. They go inside to Bullock. Bullock trying to do it, misses the shot, rebound Wilson. Wilson tried to hit, um, tried to hit Goodrow, but Gibson playing aggressive, called for a foul, trying to steal the ball. But a great play by Gibson, down by seven, being aggressive, but she was called for the foul. Pepper will inbound the pass over to Halley. Halley looking, dribbles across. She's being guarded by Bullock. And from behind was good hustle by Mallory Morris to knock it away, but it goes out of bounds. And it will be Shazy Ball. Pepper looking inside, out goes outside to Halley. Halley moves it to Pepper. Pepper has the open look. Misses, good rebound by Olds. Olds makes a nice fadeaway shot. Shazy's got the biggest lead of the night, a nine-point lead with five minutes and 35 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Mallory Morris out to Gibson. Morris on top of the key. She'll let it go. Morris misses. Morris has been cold tonight. Bullock has it. She goes in for the layup. Bullock's a good inside player. Took the extra step for the easy layup. She cuts the lead to seven. Halley has the ball. Across the line, guarded by Bullock. E-Towns into a man-to-man -man defense. Pepper's in the paint, passes it back out to Goodrow. Goodrow off the paint, off the backboard. There's a loose ball picked up from E-Town. Morris will run the floor. Shazy's got three players back. And a foul called against Shazy. Against Stephanie Pepper. 
Fouls underneath. Coach Barkham wants to talk it over. I think Coach Barkham wants to settle her troops down. They got a seven point lead. And it's a full timeout. We have four minutes and 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shazy has a seven point lead. We're coming back from the timeout. It's E-Town's ball underneath. As Heather Borden is back into the game, or Maggie Beaton is back into the game, I should say. Bullock fakes, dribbles, shoots, rebound by Halley. Good defense by E-Town. Halley's got the ball, gives it over to Goodrow. They gotta break the plane, and they do. Oh, Pepper passes the ball over to Halley and threw her hands out of bounds. Back to E-Town. Four minutes and 41 seconds. Shazy's got a seven point lead, 35 to 28. Gibson gets it into Morris. Morris at top of the key, goes left side to Gibson, back to Morris, over to the right side, over to Heather Borden. She takes the shot, but Gibson hustles and gets the rebound. Mallory Morris takes a three pointer and bangs it off the backboard, and she cuts the Shazy lead to four. Shazy getting a little rattled right now. Good move by Morris. She misses the shot. Good hustle by E-Town. It'll be e uh, Shazy ball on the side with four minutes and nine seconds. E-Town is pressuring the ball on the inbounds. Pepper tried to hit Halley and it was stolen by Mallory Morris. Shazy in their 2-3 zone. E-Town moving the ball around. Mallory Morris is getting the hot hand. Bullock looking to go. And she is fouled by Halley. And it is 11 Halley. Bullock will go to the line for two. Bullock makes the first one, and E-Town, which was down by nine points just a couple minutes ago, has cut the lead to three, and they can cut it to two here with a Bullock free throw. She misses the second one. The ball is being moved around, but rebound by E-Town. Good hustle. Halley knocks it off Bullock's hands, and it's Shazy ball. E-Town fans didn't think so, but it's Shazy ball. Halley has the ball in from Pepper. Oh, nice defense from Maggie Beaton. She drives. Shazy was looking for the charge. No charge to be called. Over to Halley. Halley is called for travel. Halley is calling for a sub. She looks a little tired. Three and a half minutes to go. Three point Shazy lead. Whitney Wilson looking to check in for Caitlin Halley, who is tired here in the fourth. Close up, rebound Halley. Over to Brittany Goodrow. Shazy's got to slow it up and regather themselves here. Pepper inside to Latour. She's going inside, but the ball was knocked away. And it will be Shazy ball. Caitlin Halley needed much needed rest is on the bench and Whitney Wilson is in the game. Goodrow will take the ball out with a three point lead with three minutes and 11 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Pepper at the top of the key finds Goodrow back to Pepper. Pepper will take the shot. Rebound by Whitney Wilson. She throws it back up and Bullock grabs the rebound over to Gibson. A lot of time left in the game. Gibson coming up. She goes left side over to Heather Borden. Gibson will take the three. Rebound is, oh, Olds oh, tried to pass it away, but stolen by Bullock. She makes the layup. E-Town's got a one point lead. Thirty second timeout called by Barcombe. And a great comeback from E-Town in the fourth. They were down by nine points. They've cut it to one with three, two minutes and 40 seconds left. Keep in mind, this team had an eight game winning streak coming in, so you know they aren't gonna go easy. So we have a wild finish here in Shea Z with Shea Z with a one point lead with two minutes and 40 seconds to go. We're back from the timeout.
Coach Barkham was trying to calm her troops down. Pepper gets it into Goodrow. We have two and a half minutes to go here. 34 to be exact. Two minutes and 34 seconds. Stolen away by E-Town. E-Town's picked their game up. And Bullock has given E-Town a one-point lead. Full court pressure by E-Town. Over to Latour. Latour crosses the line. No foul called. They're calling jump ball. And the arrow points in. Shazy. Shazy fans trying to get into it here. There's 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Pepper into Goodrow. Goodrow guarded by Gibson. Good pick set by Oles. Inside to Halley, who's back in the game. Stolen by E-Town. E-Town calls a timeout. Coach Barcombe looks a little disgusted with her troops at this point. Pachese is not out of it yet. They had a nine-point lead, but E-Town now has a one-point lead with two minutes and three seconds. There's a lot of time left in this game. Both coaches are talking over strategy. It has been a very entertaining game tonight, end-to-end -to -end action. Um, we'll see what happens when we come back from the timeout. We're back from the timeout. It's been an incredible comeback from E-Town here in the fourth quarter. They were down by nine, and it looked like Shazy was going to break their back. But E-Town is first in the league at eight and one, eight game winning streak. Their only loss was to Westport the first game of the season. So you know they weren't going to go away easy. And they've come back, take a one point lead. We have less than two minutes left in the fourth quarter with Morris going right side to Gibson. Morris top of the key. Shazy playing a strong two, three zone. Gibson has the ball on the right-hand side, over to Bullock on the, the right wing. She passes it back to Morris. Goodrow. Goodrow bounced into her, is called for the foul. E-Town ball. And Morris over to Gordon. Back to Morris. Shazy playing an aggressive 2-3. Morris top of the key. It's like they're working the shot clock around with a one-point lead. Back over the right side to Gibson. Morris at top of the key. Goes to Bullock on the wing. Bullock's trying to fake drive in the lane. They give it to Gibson. She misses. Good rebound by Heather Borden and fouled by Marianne Latour. That's either four or five on her, I'm not sure. But it's close. And Borden misses the front end of the two shot foul. They got a one point lead with a minute 17 to go. We're in for a wild finish in Chasey tonight. And she makes the second one. Hallie takes the ball in. She tried to get over to Marianne Latour and she's fouled by Maggie Beaton. Shazy ball underneath. Pepper taking the ball in. Minute 15 left in the game. Ball goes to Goodrow. Goodrow looking to break the press. Tried to pass it to Sandra Oles and it went over her head and out of bounds. We're about a minute left in the game. E-Town up by two. Marley Morris over to Borden. Morris back to Borden. E-Town is working the shot clock down and the game clock. The clock is in their favor with 55 seconds to go. Gibson over to Bullock. Bullock is in the paint, back out. Bullock goes through the lane. Inside the beat and she misses. Rebound, Pepper. Fouled by. Fouled by Gibson. Timeout, Goodrow. And we still are not in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But there is 45.7 seconds left. Shazy ball at their own end. They're down by two. It'll be an exciting 45 seconds when we come back from this break. 
We're back from the timeout. 45.7 seconds left. Shazy down by two. Stephanie Pepper taking the ball in for Shazy. Ball going into Goodrow, but knocked away by Morris. Pepper with the ball. Pressure put on by E-Town. Ball goes into Goodrow, back to Pepper. Pressure coming in from E-Town, goes back to Goodrow. Goodrow breaks the plane. There's 36 seconds left, it goes over to Halley. Halley looking to drive. Inside to Latour. Latour makes it inside. We got a tie game. 27 seconds left. Mallory Morris with the ball. She looks right. She sees Gibson. Over to Bullock. Bullock back to Gibson. Over to Mallory Mullis. Back to Bullock. Bullock over to Borden. And Borden drains it with 12 seconds to go. Here comes Brittany Goodrow. Goodrow coming down. Stolen by Mallory Morris. As she fouled by Sandra Olds, or Casey Olds, I'm sorry. 5.9 seconds to go. E-Town's got a two point lead. And it was a beautiful shot from Heather Borden to give E-Town a two point lead. And it is a one-on-one -on -one situation. We're back. 5.9 seconds. It's been an exciting game. E-Town by two. Mallory Morris on the line, one-on-one. -on -one. If she makes this one, she's the second one. If not, the ball is live. She misses rebound. Caitlin Halley, there's three seconds to go. Time is going by. And that is the game. E-Town, an incredible, incredible comeback here in the fourth quarter. E-Town was down by nine points, bringing in an 18-game winning streak in first place on the line. They fought and fought and fought, and they won a tough battle tonight, 39-37 in Shea Z. It was a great game, great game by both teams, and uh, it was an exciting game for the fans. You can't get any closer than 39-37, and that's the way it was on February 3rd on a Friday night in beautiful downtown Shea Z, and we'll see you at the next game. Good night.